Hello everyone, this is Wes Bates coming to you from the Pacific Northwest Aerospace Alliance Conference in a very snowy Seattle. Uh, we've had quite a bit of snow these past couple of days, but thankfully it hasn't deterred my very special guest from joining us. Uh, this is Paul Clark. Park is the head of global technology for GK Aerospace on our special products group. So Paul, I understand you're going to be participating in a panel discussion on global collaboration this week. Can you tell us a little bit about that? That's right, Wes. Yes, so we're talking about global collaboration and the impact of new and emerging technologies on the sector and how we really take that forward. We're focusing really on uh, the, the capabilities around Industry 4 and how GKN is changing um, and developing technology uh, to really push forward productivity gains for GKN going forward. So that's interesting. In Industry 4.0, as we said, it's a very uh, hot topic here at the conference. Uh, can you talk a little bit about how next-gen manufacturing is going to play a vital role with uh, globally diverse manufacturing companies like GKN Aerospace? Sure. So we've approached this through three main areas, the people being the primary one. How do we develop the skills and the talent pipeline to really push forward um, the capabilities to demonstrate and prove out this technology? The second is around the processes. So this is really about uh, how we look at the technologies to deliver the connectivity that we need for both our customers and our supply chain. And we look at this through uh, three main areas. So we're looking at data acquisition, how you take data from the device or the machine that you're using. Um, um, we're talking about data analytics, so how do you get the value from the data and the insight that you get from the data? And then finally, the visualization, how, you de how do you demonstrate and show uh, the data in an, uh, in an appropriate fashion so that you can take action on that data? Well, these sound like very uh, lofty or ambitious initiatives. Uh, can you talk about how GKN plans to achieve these ambitions with Industry 4.0? Sure. So GKN have recently announced the launch of its Global Technology Centre in Filton in the UK. Um, part of that is a proving ground to demonstrate uh, the proof of value for some of these technologies and how we work together with our customers and our supply chain to really enable the, the demonstration and the value that these technologies bring to GKN and then how we then utilise them and deploy them across GKN to demonstrate um, adaptability, flexibility, and most importantly, competitiveness uh, in, a, in a global market. All right, well, that's very fascinating. Well, thank you very much, Paul, for, for talking to us a little bit, and good luck with your panel discussion later this week. Thank you. And thank you guys for joining us. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about GKN Aerospace's involvement or ambitions with Industry 4.0 and the recent announcement of the Global Technology Center, feel free to reach out and look into our website at gknaerospace.com. Of course, continue to follow us on YouTube and if, subscribe to our social media channels of Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram. So for my very special guest, Paul Clark, uh, we want to say thank you for joining us from the Pacific Northwest Aerospace Alliance Conference here in Seattle, Washington, and we hope to see you at the next show. Bye, guys. Thank you.